Facebook Messenger. We uh, we talked about WhatsApp not long ago, a few months ago. And of course, we're always talking about WhatsApp because they're getting they're in, in trouble in Brazil all the time. Uh, but Facebook has moved the Signal protocol into Messenger. Uh, so they call it secret conversations. And it's not the default. It is something you can engage optionally on a per conversation basis, which to me, I think that's exactly the right trade off. Because as we uh, as we know, uh, the way they've implemented it, they're unable because it is encrypted from end to end things like their chat bot which requires sniffing the conversation as it goes through Facebook servers, that all gets excluded when you have end-to-end -end encryption. So there will be some loss of extra fancy functionality you know, that goes along with turning secret conversations on. Um, they used the uh, the now available open source signal protocol libraries. There's one for Java and also one for C. Um, and uh, uh, oh, and 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 they make a point that that they have an entirely different backend structure. They use a different transport protocol, uh, a specialized on-device storage and separate back-end infrastructure. Um, next week, I'm going to go into more in-depth into two other features. One they call abuse reporting, and the other is this implementation of secure storage. Because as I began to look at it, it was like, okay, this is too big for a bullet point. So, And it looks interesting. Looks like there actually is maybe some new technology there that I want to talk about. Of course, because, you know, Messenger is a major messaging platform for the internet, given that it's, you know, the the default in Facebook. So uh, they have a, a white paper, 11 pages that is available. And mostly it is sort of a, a just a reprinting of the Signal protocol. And of course, Signal as, as we know, Moxie and his team absolutely did it right at Open Whisper Systems. This is, it's, when I, when I, as our listeners will remember, when I first started looking at it, I was thinking, whoa, is this thing over-engineered and over-complicated? Because, I mean, you just have stuff going in every direction at once and ratcheting protocols and key exchanges. And a lot of it seemed like, like overkill, but when you look, and as we did when, when we covered this in detail a few months back, there's a reason for it, and you get all kinds of extra f neat things. Like, for example, a, you have a non-real-time messaging protocol. That's where, for example, uh, uh, OTP uh, uh, falls because you have that has to be real-time end to end with signal they solve the problem of sending a message to somebody who isn't available at that instant in order to have a, a real-time interchange with so and a lot of the extra machinery in the signal protocol uh, supports that i would argue very valuable uh fe feature as it's the kind of thing where somebody if they turned on secret conversations and it suddenly broke the way they're used to using Messenger, which is asynchronously, then that would seem like wrong to them. It's like, wait, I want to have a secret conversation, not a broken conversation. So anyway, uh, bravo to Facebook.